Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the 39th episode of my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't Richard. No, this is James Black 47, fellow Payday 2 reviewer and DLC connoisseur. Richard was kind enough to let me guest voice this video while he's doing whatever he does when he's not doing this. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at a very unique carbine available through the Golden Grin Casino DLC, the Cavity 9mm. While in-game, the Cavity 9mm is referred to and functions as an assault rifle, in real life it's actually a carbine based on the kel Sub-2000 and is chambered in the familiar 9x19 Parabellum. The weapon is unique in that its barrel can fold up for easy storage and concealment. Oddly enough, the Cavity is actually one of the highest damage rifles in the game, despite its rather anemic cartridge. However, it does trade this for having a small ammo pool and horrible hipfire spread. As just mentioned, the damage is very good, coming in at a base value of 85, making it capable of quickly dispatching even the heaviest police units with a handful of shots. With modification and the Fast and Furious perk card, your damage can easily exceed 100. At this point, you can one-shot headshot maximum force responders, letting you clear through waves of police without breaking a sweat. The higher damage is also a boon when dealing with special units, being able to quickly bring them down before they can incapacitate you or your crew. The cavity's rate of fire is also surprisingly high for such a high damage weapon, coming in at 710 rounds per minute, on par with the M308 and Commando. The increased rate of fire means you can rip through rounds quickly if you're put into a sticky situation up close, or you need to unload a few into the faceplate of a dozer. While the rate of fire will be high, it can only function in a semi-automatic firing mode, meaning those with a quick trigger finger will synergize well with the cavity. While the cavity deals out punishment rather quickly, it suffers in the area of recoil, with a base stability rating of only 8. Out of the box, the cavity will have a mean kick, making it hard to recover from missed shots, meaning accuracy will have a high premium until the weapon is modified. Thankfully, almost all the combat-oriented modifications the cavity has will improve its stability, and with upgrades, the cavity becomes relatively stable, allowing you to engage targets at a fair distance. Accuracy by default will be more than serviceable, with a base rating of 14. Even without mods, this is high enough to function at middle ranges without too much issue. However, the biggest issue with the cavity was the poor accuracy when firing or moving from the hip. Moving while aiming will impose a 3 times multiplier on weapon spread, while moving and hip firing will increase your spread by 8.75 times. However, its semi-automatic function enforces its superior aimed effectiveness, meaning that this is a weapon best used defensively. The Cavity's magazine size is very large for this high damage DMR, coming in at 33 rounds standard. While a DMR usually doesn't need the extra ammunition, it certainly never hurts, and is always helpful when reloading isn't an option. That being said, it does make it an excellent candidate for mag dumping into bulldozers and SWAT turrets, being able to unload a steady stream of ammunition without pause. Reload times are usable. While not as fast as the M308s, you will be doing far less reloading. Tactical reloads will take just 2.3 seconds, while a full rechamber will add an additional second, bringing the total to 3.3 seconds. While the reloads are painless, an extra 4 points into Kilmer can make them even easier, and get you back into the fight much quicker. However, even without it, the rifle is still more than usable. The total ammo pool for the Cavity, while not as generous as the ones for other assault rifles, is high for the amount of damage the Cavity deals. By default, the Cavity will have 66 rounds in reserve, or two full magazines, giving it plenty of time on target. Compare this to the Cavity's competitor, the M308, and you'll have an additional 26 rounds of ammunition on hand. Ammo pickup is also fair, even without the use of fully loaded haste. However, good accuracy is obviously recommended for the best results. Like the Valkyria, the Cavity has a relatively small pool of modifications. To show you what we can do with it, here's a build I baked earlier. You can see that for our build, we will be focusing on having an effective DMR to use at mid to long ranges. For our barrel extension, we will use the Competitor's Compensator, improving our accuracy as well as boosting damage and stability. While we won't reach max accuracy with this, it will be supplemented with skills. Next, the Delabar Foregrip will provide a notable increase to stability at the microscopic cost of concealment, taking some of the edge off the cavity's hard recoil. As always, the LED combo will provide us with the largest bonus to stability, making it the obvious choice of the military laser module. Finally, as always, the optical attachments are purely user preference. However, the cavity tends to operate best with the long to mid-range sights, such as the Solar or ACOF. 
for our skill selection, the two rifle-related technician skills are once again a must, especially considering you gain a pretty large increase in accuracy from Sharpshooter Basic. Since the cavity functions best in defensive roles, it's best to have some sturdy protection. High-level enforcers should opt for the Iron Man skill, while high-level technicians would be advised to ace bulletproof. As with most builds, I highly suggest equipping fully loaded basic. The extra ammo is always a plus in longer missions. Once the dust settles on this build, the cavity sees a solid improvement in accuracy and damage. However, its stability likely sees the largest gain. Its recoil reduced sustainability. In addition, it will also have increased total ammo thanks to fully loaded basic. Overall, the Cavity is a significant step up from other DMRs, featuring superior handling stats overall, with excellent damage and accuracy, as well as very generous magazines. Its biggest weakness, however, will be the lackluster hipfire spread and the inability to go full auto in a pinch. Despite this, the Cavity is still a superb choice for those looking to play defensively and make the enemy come to them. Whatever the cops throw at you, the Cavity is sure to put a hole in their plan. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Richard will be back for the next episode and he's gonna need your help. The weapon he covers in next episode will be left up to a vote. So please check out Richard's Steam community page and comment on his newest announcement what weapon you would like to see revised. But until next time, farewell.